Breaking tonight, a remarkable moment in the Republican race for the White House today, as Dr. Ben Carson decided to tackle head-on the issue of race and opportunity. He traveled to New York City, and he brought his message of self-reliance to the streets of Harlem. Take a listen to what he had to say to the people and the press. Well, of course Black Lives Matter, but what I feel is that instead of people pointing fingers at each other and just creating strife, what we need to be talking about is how do we solve the problem in the black community of murder, essentially. You know, for a young black male in the inner city, homicide is the most likely cause of death. That is ridiculous. And, and most of those occur at the hands of other young black males. We need to be talking about why is that occurring. We need to be talking about how do we instill values into people again so that they do in fact believe that their brother's life matters. And that's going to be a matter of getting back to the values and principles that got black people through slavery and, and through segregation and Jim Crowism. And those are family and faith. Those are the things that got us through it. And as we throw those things away, you're seeing terrible carnage occurring in our communities. Also, recognizing that, you know, 73% of black babies born out of wedlock, that woman's education stops generally with that first baby. And that baby is at least four times as likely to grow up in poverty and um, is likely to end up in the penal system or the welfare system. That is destructive to the community, but the PC, police, and the progressive community have gotten people to believe that that's okay. You're not supposed to talk about that. If anybody talks about that, they're an Uncle Tom and they're against you, when in fact, those are the very people that are trying to save the situation. Traditionally, Democrats have gotten most of the African-American vote. Why is that, and what can the GOP do to change that? What can you do to change that? Well, I, I think it's because the Democratic Party has ascribed to the Lyndon Johnson philosophy. Uh, I don't know if you know, Lyndon Johnson said, if we give those N words such and such, they'll vote for us for the next 200 years. Um, what the Republican Party needs to do is come out and discuss more the, the kinds of relationships and the programs that will actually bring people out of poverty, that will give them the ability to use their God-given talents to rise rather than to simply be satisfied in a dependent position in our society. The key thing is whether I get the votes or not, I want people to start listening to what I'm saying and understanding, understanding that, you know, there's a way to go that will lead to, to upward mobility as opposed to dependency. And let's talk about that way and let's not be satisfied to be patted on the head and kept like a pet. Wow. Joining me now from Queens, New York, presidential candidate, Dr. Ben Carson. Dr. Carson, great to see you. What did you mean by that last comment and not, and not be kept like a pet? Uh, people who don't truly respect you, don't really see you as an equal, uh, but just take care of you in order that you can take care of them. You made a point today, because there aren't many people who talk, talking about this, about what has actually happened in the African American community that, that can contribute to these figures we've seen in terms of the, uh, you know, fatherless families and inner city poverty and lack of education and lack of opportunity. Um, and you say there's a reason people don't want to talk about it. You said today it's because you'll be dubbed an Uncle Tom if you do. Yeah, uh, you know, the, the whole value system, the values and principles that created you know, strong families and, and gave people, you know, the kind of foundation that they needed to be able to resist, you know, the influences on the street. Those are not there anymore. So, you know, people are easily taken with the first wind that blows by. And that's, that's a major problem. You know, you look at these young, young men, you know, a quarter of them are in the penal system, you know, by the time they're 20 years old. That's ridiculous. And they're, they're not bad people, they're good people. But, but unfortunately, 
you know, they're not getting any of the right kinds of influences. So that's going to happen to anybody. I don't care what color they are if you put them in that situation. We have some of the other candidates on the GOP side saying, well, the answer to that is to decriminalize certain drug crimes and so on and to get rid of some mandatory sentences. You, as far as I know, I could be wrong, are the only one talking about let's let's take a hard look at what's happening in the communities themselves and try to get at the heart of that although what a herculean lift yes. right dr carson i mean how do you even start that process of changing that social structure well it, it's going to be difficult but the first thing we have to do is start talking about it you know stop being afraid to actually address the issue stop being afraid to tell that young woman that she is valuable and that she shouldn't be giving herself away and then having a baby and then having the father abandon her and then having the government support her. You know, the whole system is upside down. That doesn't work. And what we need to recognize as a country, and this is crucial, we only have a 330 million people. We're competing against China and India. They have over a billion people. We can't afford to be throwing away a good portion of our people. We need to develop all of them to the maximum. It's going to help us as a nation and strengthen the fabric of our country. Do you think you can be heard on this front? I mean, there was a, there's a critical uh, piece in the Washington Post on you talking about how Republicans may love your views on race, but most voters of color do not, and that they feel really you need institutional help, you need government aid in these communities to pull people out of poverty? Well, there's always going to be a critical piece in the Washington Post about me. <laughs> That's nothing new. Um, but, but the important thing is that, yes, I do think people are starting to listen. You know, I, I, many people on the street today, Harlem came up to me and said, man, we love you, we're supporting you. I was in the airport yesterday on my way here. A woman comes up to me and she says, I'm a lifelong Democrat. I love you. And, you know, the stuff that I'm talking about has nothing to do with Republicans or Democrats. It has to do with America. And what kind of nation are we going to have? And what are we going to pass on to our children and our grandchildren? Dr. Carson, always a pleasure. Thanks for being here, sir.